Greetings all, this is Dickie Adams with PocketNow.com and today we've got the unboxing of the HTC Flyer from T-Mobile. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Now the HTC Flyer has been available for some time now. It's just been recently that the T-Mobile version, this version we have here, has been avail made available as of September 13th of 2011. Let's go ahead and open up the box and take a look and see what's inside here as far as accessories go. Uh, here's the unit itself, which we'll come back to in just a minute. Nothing else inside that uh, tray there. And here we have the wall wart, and it's got a proprietary kind of uh, almost looks like a micro USB connector, but it's a, a bent uh, a little here in the middle. And then the USB cable also has that same configuration. SIM card and the regulatory guide and the quick guide also included in this box. Uh, another accessory that you can get with the HTC Flyer is the HTC Scribe pin, uh, which will uh, show in the further uh, hardware review once we get going with this particular device. So let's uh, go ahead and power up the device, get it plugged in, and uh, we'll take a closer look at that. So starting with the back cover, you can see here I've already pulled off the cover that goes over the top of the SIM card slot, which is right here, and also the expandable micro SD card slot. Maximum card size is 32 gigs here, and it's got uh, 32 gigs of built-in memory as well. Uh, this is a real pain to get on and off, so I figured I'd start with it off uh, for the sake of the timeliness of the review. And as you can see here, it just kind of like snaps into place back on top of there. A couple of speaker holes here on the back. This it's got a little bump here, a little nub right here that's a little bit um, this is kind of the aluminum unibody here and this plastic has a little more stickiness to it than uh, you would normally expect. We'll see how that works out holding it in the hand. Uh, down here on the bottom is the charging port and uh, data port. Volume rocker key and microphone on this side. Nothing here but clean aluminum here. Power button up on the top. The uh, HTC Flyer does work on the GSM, obviously, considering it's uh, running through T-Mobile's service. It weighs about 420 grams. That's about 14.8 ounces. Uh, the dimensions are 7.69 by 4.8 by 0.52. Uh, so it's it's not a lightweight device uh, for the form factor, especially if you uh, are, are comparing this against like the Color Nook or against the, let's say, a Kindle, absolutely uh, much heavier in that case. Screen is a uh, 1024 by 600 pixels, if I can find the power button here. It is a LCD display. It has uh, the, um, I believe it's called the N-Trig uh, capacitive, or I'm sorry, not capacitive, but the N-Trig uh, touch technology, which is used for the pin technology, which we'll cover later. You have four, or not really four, we have three capacitive touch buttons, and then you have a special button here, which is specifically for the pin, uh, which again, we'll cover more in the hardware section. Uh, screen looks pretty nice and the device seems pretty quick to start with. Uh, this re review unit came to us already pre-started so that's why you don't see any other configuration uh, options to start here. We'll um, play around with it some more and cover some of those other items in the software review. It's got a little bit of a lip that goes around here around the edges. Uh, it's got a uh, small megapixel front facing camera. I believe it's a um, 1.3 megapixel camera on the front and a 5 megapixel camera on the back. It's running Gingerbread. Uh, it's not running uh, a tablet OS at this time, but uh, it's anticipated to be coming very shortly. Otherwise, uh, seems to be very nice in the hand uh, that I can feel so far. I'll have to do some more testing on it, uh, but we'll cover that in further reviews. If you have more questions about the actual specs, we'll have those on the website, pocketnow.com. The battery itself is 4,000 milliamp hours. Uh, it's supposed to have a standby time of about 14 or 
1,470 hours, which is should be a pretty good clip. The processor on this is a Qualcomm Snapdragon 1,500 megahertz. It's got a gig of RAM, uh, which should be more than sufficient for this device. We'll see how it really runs with some games. It's got a, an accelerometer and a compass in this as well. No gyroscope uh, that we've been able to find. That wraps up our unboxing of the HTC Flyer from T-Mobile. If you have any questions or comments and want us to test one particular item or see a particular feature of the device, leave a message in the comments below and we'll try to address them. Thanks for watching.